Okay, now I'm going to show to you how to play Bursa, uh, trading game at Bursa Marketplace. So before you can follow this video, I hope you already create your own account at Bursa Marketplace. And then make sure you join my trading game that I have created in Bursa Marketplace. So to join that Bursa Marketplace trading game, I hope you can refer to my slide. Uh, and if you have question, please uh, ask me in the group whatsapp okay so after you register my uh, trading game okay first uh, you open bursa marketplace website and then you need to log in into your account so after you log in into your account you click icon for games and then click my games so if you already register into my trading game, you can see uh, this trading game with a title FIN645 Fahmi October 20. This is trading game that I've created for your class for this assignment. So to start trade in this trading game, okay, you click icon arrow here. Okay, then you can see the interface uh, for your trading game. Okay, so you have FIN 645 Fahmi October 20 and then uh, if you not start yet the trading games, your total game value uh, should be 1 million. That is the amount that I have, uh, that I give to everybody in this trading setting. Okay, and your trading profit and loss, this is for uh, record your trading uh, profit and loss. Uh, so if you don't start yet, uh, then your trading profit and loss will be zero. Futures contract, if you see the amount of futures contract maximum, for one time you can hold up to 50 futures contracts. Okay, so that means if you already uh, trade for 50 contracts, you cannot trade anymore. You must close out some uh, of the futures contract, uh, then you can start trade again. So number of trades... Uh, available for this trading game is 100 that's mean starting from now until end of period which is for your semester is 31st December maximum number of trades is 100 times okay so you can buy or sell futures for 100 times okay so this is your total futures value and then available cash okay this is margin this row show your margin Okay, so in this uh, account, I don't have any margin for FKLI because currently I don't uh, hold any position in futures contract. Uh, for FCPO, if you see that I quantity of contract is 2, that means I have 2 FCPO contract now. The total margin is 10,000 and then gold, I don't have any gold contract. So total, trans, uh, sorry, total margin is 0. Okay, so if you scroll down, okay, you can have you can see there is a uh, one the first part of your portfolio. This is the active contract that you have in your portfolio. Kalau you tak start lagi, then this one should be uh, there is no any contract here. Okay, and the second part of this report, you can see the title is close or archive contract. So this is a contract that you already close okay okay so how to start to add futures in your portfolio uh, you can see there is one uh, column here or row here add futures contract so you add futures contract okay then this window will pop up in your screen first you need to choose your contract okay so if you click here then you have all the futures contract available in this trading game. So we have FKLI and then you have F Gold and then FCPO and then FM70. This is also the uh, uh, futures for stock index. Okay, so this is uh, the remaining uh, 70 uh, top 70 in uh, index. Okay, so let's say I want to trade for. December November contract so I choose FKLI November so you can see there is a current price for this contract now which is 1558 so make sure you already analyze the market let's say I believe that the market is going 
to drop because of COVID-19 and everything is not uh, stable in our country right now. So if I believe the market is going to drop, I should take short position. Short means you want to sell futures contract. So I believe futures is going to drop. So I sell futures today. Hopefully next week, for example, the futures will drop and I can close by using long position. So let's say I take short position here. And then what is stop price? Stop price is your stop loss price. So if I take short position, the stop price should be higher than the current price. Sebab, kalau saya sell pada 1558, okay, if the price increase, then I need to buy at higher price. So, tu menyebabkan saya dapat loss. So stop price, let's say I assume I don't want to take uh, high risk. So I just put my stop price uh, 1... 590. That means if the price increase to 1590, system will close out for me. Okay. And what is target price? Target price is your target profit price. So let's say uh, current price is 1558. I believe the market price is going to drop. Let's say I believe market is going to drop to 1450. Okay. So I, my plan, my investment plan is I want to sell at 1550. It, and then later on I plan to buy at 1450 ok so I don't want to take so many risks so I put a stop loss price is 1590 that means if the price increase to 1590 the system will close out for me ok then I click trade now so after you click trade now then you can see that in your portfolio there is FKLI for 30 November, uh, for November contract. So this contract is going to close out in 30th November. So FKI 30 November 2020. That means this contract is November contract is going to close out in on 30th November. So you can see that the position I take today is I shot at 11 November 2020. Price 1558. Okay. And then the stop price is 1590. The target price is 1450. So there is no profit and loss because profit and loss will be calculated either at the time you close out the contract or uh, tomorrow. So we have to wait to tomorrow until you can see the gross profit and loss for this futures transaction. Okay. So how to close out your position? Okay. If you can see that. In my position now, I have three contract, one FKI November, I have one FCPO December, and then I have one FCPO January. So I have three contract. If you can see that now in my portfolio, I have three over 50. So the maximum number I can have here is 50 contract. Okay. So this is uh, I, currently I hold three over 50. Okay. Uh, how about number of trading or trades done? 6 over 100. Why 6? I currently hold 3 futures contract. And cu currently in my portfolio, I already close 3 futures contract. That means 1 futures contract is equal to 1 trade. Okay, so in my portfolio, I already done 6 trades for my portfolio. Alright, so how to close out your position? Okay, uh, so let's say... Uh, tomorrow, okay, uh, you look at your FCPO, for example, in my portfolio, I found out that my FCPO, let's say, assume I get profit here, okay, so the gross profit already make some profit, so I want to close out so that I can uh, get the profit, so to close out, you click at status, so you click this open, and then system asks you, are you sure you want to close out this contract? So if you want to close out, then you click close contract or you can sell if you don't want to close out. Let's say I want to close out. So I click close out. Then that futures contract, the FCPO, January FCPO already closed out. 
So it will go to the closed contract or archive contract because this one uh, I open in 11 November today and then I close out in November also. The price is not moved yet. So I get zero profit. Okay. So that is how you buy and sell or how you open position and close out your position in this trading game.